Welcome to another episode of uh, Your Dad's Evil Tips. Uh, this is the show where you talk about how to not kill yourself and like survive in the music industry. You know, standard Sunday, or I guess in this case, because you will see it on Wednesday. Uh, I'm your evil boyfriend. What's up? I'm your dad is lit. Sorry if my uh, audio is a little bit hilarious today, but I need to get my computers plural fixed. And um, yeah. Uh, today we're going to talk about some topics, well, a topic that is pretty important in music, and that's um, making music quickly. Yeah. So we're going to so, talk a little bit about, you know, how to do that and why it's a good idea to do it. And uh, if you guys like the content, don't forget to like, comment, share it, subscribe, follow me, send me a postcard, and uh, don't kidnap an orphan. That's important because otherwise, like, how are they going to, like, get ahead in the world? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just get into it quickly. Uh, we're going to talk about how to, like, write quickly. Uh, so, Shalot, tell me, why is it important to write quickly? Uh, it's very important for um, just in general. You, you want to have a lot of music ready to go and releasing all the time. Because you generally, well, for one, Spotify and other platforms like it when you upload a lot of music. So what happens is when you're, say you released a song every month, you, you would be more likely to get put on uh, editorial playlists. Um, you're triggering Spotify or any other platform's algorithm more often. So it's, Spotify is going to prioritize your music over other music. Um, and that's a good thing if, if you want to get your music heard. Um, yeah, overall, it's just good to have because especially once you start you know, getting signed to labels, they're going to probably ask you for more music and um, you want to have a lot of music. So if they don't like a certain song, you can give them another song and you just have all this music ready to go if anyone ever asks you for music. Yeah. So like the thing about music is like you never stop making it. And when you get good at like writing, you also have choices, right? You can maybe like, oh, I'm going to do like this and like, like this and like this and like this. Also, it's important that you understand that it's really hard to have a career if you can't write music quickly, especially because like, if you want to get like new ideas out all the time, it would just be just be too hard. Cause like imagine you're like taking like you're writing a song, right? And it takes you like six months to finish. And then that song does great. Or let's say it doesn't do great. That's whatever. And then the next time you try to write a song, it's gonna take you six months again and it doesn't do as well. So ideally you wanna just like have music, you be able to just write music like it's nothing. Um for Shalot and I, we, we like developed this system in which we were like give each other like ridiculous deadlines to finish like a full arrangement. I think we started with an hour, right? And then we like dropped it down to like 20 minutes. Like right? Yeah. Something like that. And then at the beginning it was extremely hard because we didn't know what to do. Now it's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, you just have like an idea that quickly. And then sometimes you you have a bad idea and then you just delete it and you just like start again or you save it, whatever. But uh, writing quickly helps you a lot because it also teaches you how to prioritize. And uh, you also get better and faster at getting better. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, always good. There's a lot of deadlines in music too. Um, for example, if you do a remix competition, it's usually like a month to finish the song. But I know a lot of people, you know, uh, they might procrastinate <laughs> a little bit um so it's good if you can just pump out remix competitions like like it's nothing just because you're you're just really good at coming up with ideas and finishing them um yeah. you know what's another good reason it's just, it's just good in general to, to to finish music quickly yeah um, um you know you're not you're not gonna think about what you're doing as much too. You're not in your head about your idea. 
no, you just, you, you just make an idea and you finish it and, you know, you're not worried too much about what people are going to think because not everyone's going to like every song that you make. So once you get that in your head and, you know, um, you can't prioritize a lot of music over other music. And once you realize that it's a lot easier to um, pump up music. Yeah. Um, obviously like it, it's the, the, the general theme of this conversation, just kind of like, you know, like write music quickly that way you can get better. Also like to touch up a little bit or like more a specific example, like Shala talked about a remix competition. Now the average producer doesn't really keep an eye out when the next Ruby's competition is going to come out. Like the, you do get an email from like label radar, sky or music, and you might check it out. Or like, you might be in the middle of something and you're like, yeah, yeah, like I got to the remix and then you don't. And like, let's say that you found that a remix late and you literally have like three days to finish it. Can you do it? If you can't write quickly, you won't be able to do it. And literally this could be the remix that like gives you a break or whatever. Right. So, for example, the one remix competition that I won, I literally, I just happened to stumble upon it somewhere on Facebook. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to enter it. And I finished the whole idea in a, in a day <laughs> and I won it. So, yeah. And then there's other ones that like, I get, like, I really want to win it. And like, I spend a lot of time on it and I don't win them. So you have to like, keep trying. But like, the reason why I don't give up is because like, it only takes me like a few days to finish the idea. So it's just like, whatever, I didn't try. I, sorry, I didn't win, but I can just go on to the next one. I'd imagine I'm like spending all this time remixing something that's going to take me a long time and I keep not winning. I'm just going to be allocating this time, not working on my personal music, but like remixing somebody else's and it might not even win. So that's also a reason why you should be able to like run quickly. Now, if you're going to be working with like major labels or something like that, sometimes you have like a three dead deadline to just finish the idea. So a remix competition might give you a month right? Assuming you found out about it at the beginning, you might actually have two weeks, right? <laughs> uh, but, you know, right quickly. Very important. Um, let's see. Why else should you write quickly? Uh, obviously, you should get better at everything, right? But the, the, this whole, like, muscle about, like, learning how to write quickly, it, it, like, basically, it pollinates to everything that you're doing. So, for example, if you're in a market, you fail quickly because you're just like, okay, hey, how long is it going to take me to make a video? Okay, like, make it quickly. Like, even this thing that we're doing right now, which a lot of, we had, like, no plan or, like, how to edit it or whatever when we started. We started with a uh, beat challenge, and it was just like, yeah, let's just go through Zoom and see what happens, right? And then Shalala's computer died. Now we're just <laughs> doing this instead. But uh, mm -hmm. we, we still kind of already know how to, like, you know, do this. Like, we don't plan what we're going to talk about too much. We have, like, what, like a five-minute conversation? Yeah. Before we uh we film, we didn't even think about it. We just kind of like boom, go for it. And then as we go, we're actually just kind of like playing off what happens. And then sometimes the content is good, sometimes the content is whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Um. I guess the the next thing we could talk about is like how to write quickly. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I we've gone over this before, but using a reference track to structure your music definitely helps a lot. If you already know what the structure is going to be, all you have to do is, is figure out what it's going to sound like. Hmm. Um, I can't remember which, I don't know, if, but basically you can, you can group up, you can basically put your reference track in another um, audio track in your DAW, and it'll literally show you from the waveform what the sections are and that's super helpful that helped me with my first EP. that's i basically did all my tracks like that and um that's kind of what got me assigned initially because my structure was kind of whack at, at first and just using like tracks that you like to help you structure it out it's really good because those 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 structures always work they're always they're already famous they already work um it's proven um yeah um remember at first don't 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 worry too much about your sounds just try to get your structure out and then once you have it you know try to work on your sounds 
and layering. Just group up everything into sections. You got your, your structure. And uh, how would you say this? Like your structure, then you got your, your, your producing. Yeah. Your mixing. Then you got your mastering. Um, and, you know, give yourself a time limit for each of those sections. Obviously, mixing and mastering give yourself more time. <laughs> but you know when you're when you're structured when you're on structure don't 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 think about it too much when you're in production don't think about it too much when everything's done then then you can start thinking about it and that that usually will help you get past those 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 blocks because mm. that's where most people just like freak out and like spend like five hours on like a sound yeah uh, another thing that you can do is like you can have a different session in which you just make sounds, right? Yeah. That's another way because you're like already ready. You already have like this, uh, you discovered like painting. You already have like this palette already kind of made, right? And you have like all these sounds that you know go work together because it comes with the correct sample pack, right? Or like, you know, that they're just going to work together. So that's another way to write quickly, just off all your sounds ready to go. And then just be like, okay, I will already know everything here works really well. So use it. So for example, like there's this company called XLM Sounds and I love everything that they do. Every single time they drop a sample pack that I remotely like, I just buy it. And then I just write it with all those samples. Cause I'm just like, that's, I don't have to worry about how sounds gonna work or whatever. And then I just kind of write around it. And then like my ideas actually come out pretty quickly. Uh, another way to write really quickly is just like find samples that inspire you or that uh, like sp like you know they're gonna work and then you write around there because you know there's one part that's already good so in my experience at least for me i look for like really interesting drum beats because i know groove is there and then after that i'm kind of just like all right well i just need like some sort of like chord or bass line whatever right sometimes i find a bass line first and i'm just like oh like, i like that so we're coming for a make when i make like dubstep feature facie i'll like Kind of have like an arrangement and then i'd be like okay well i need a bass and then around the bass i'll usually just cut it up and just like write a whole bass like around it so that's another way to write quickly um i don't I know guess to extend on that a bit it's just like what i usually do is i'll write a drop mm. and usually it'll have like a few sounds and then once i have that drop i'll just i'll immediately just stop everything and structure it doesn't matter if i have um the right sounds it's just get the structure done and then and then once you're done it you, you can get it back into the sounds but it's you can just get lost in like a drop and then go into a break and just like doesn't make any sense yeah so, helps a lot <laughs> another way that you guys can like write really quickly um which don't tell anybody this but i'm sure you already know this um if you don't know what to do for like a, a, a chorus just just spam the root yeah. yeah so if you're like writing in like g minor or some shit like that just just grab grab your g and just keep spamming it at like different rhythms until you find something that works and then there you go you have a drop that's it that's another way to be like hey that works and then like when you have your full structure you can go back to it later and be like all right well let's actually try to make like this groove kind of interesting but like it, there's so many songs that you go like da 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 Da, 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 da. that's the same note, note playing over again with different ri like rhythms so yeah <laughs> yeah mm, i think that's it um uh, you know uh repetition helps a lot especially with vocals right um uh, like sometimes there's like a hook like i'm sure swedish South mafia you've heard about them uh a lot of things a lot of stuff that they would do they would just grab like a vocal that would go like e E, O, A, A, and they would just put that on every beat. They would just go like A, 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 and then I would just, that would work. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have anything else that you do? Should like write quickly? Um, just, I guess, just grouping uh, sounds that you like, like, going back to like having your your sounds already made before you do your session just you know group all your sounds together so that when you're making a track you just have them ready mm. like 
if you already have a sample pack of, of samples that work, like creating your own sample packs, of uh, samples that you use in every song, like that helps so much. Like if you look at like a Chris Lake session, he has like drum racks of old, just drum racks upon drum racks so that you can just drag and drop into Ableton sessions. And then he's just, he has drums that already work and that he knows is his sound and it's super easy for him. Or, or he'll get Chris Lorenzo to like make a bunch of cool whoops and whoops. And then he'll be like, I I'm saving those. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's my sample pack maker, Chris Lorenzo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Chris Lake. <laughs> yeah, just like have a buddy that makes the sounds for you, which I actually you, you can. Um, yeah, outsourcing, I guess that's another one. Outsourcing. Like if you can't do something quickly, you can outsource it. If you have a friend to do it, you know, yeah. instead of trying to make tr like a vocal by yourself, just hire someone to do it. And it's so yeah. much faster. Yeah, like for example, like I, I struggle a lot getting my vocals on grid. So I just asked you a lot to help me. Yeah. <laughs> He's Very like, painful session. I'm a drummer. <laughs> I always get stuff on beat. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. just it goes for mixing mastery too. If you can't mix and master fast, just hire someone. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't be afraid to outsource. Yeah. Cool. So I think that's good enough for people to like maybe dabble with it, but we cannot stress enough. If you're going to do the music industry shit, learn to write quickly. Even if it sucks at the beginning, like you do not understand how fast Charlotte and I can just like come up with ideas. They don't even have to be good, but we're just kind of like, okay, cool. There's that. There's that. There's that. And then that's how you're like, your, your mind is just kind of like creative all the time. And then like that, translate to everything else that you do yeah yeah and you'll find your own ways too um but that's just how we we end up doing it a lot of the time yeah like by chaining everything yeah cool keep no talent all right cool guys uh i guess we'll see you guys uh next week remember don't kill yourself and uh like share comment Send it to your grandma. Yeah. Our Wait. analytics show that 0% of you are subscribed. Please subscribe. Um, we would love some sub subscribers. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye, guys.